Hi, hello. My name is Manuel Hernandez, and today I'm going to talk about how to do good use of Panopto. First of all, uh, we are going to talk about what's Panopto. Panopto is an amazing collection of videos, everything linked to the content provided in Canvas. This is uh, usually presented in the same site of each module, in the tab Recordings. Sometimes the lecturer can also provide a direct link to Panopto. Sessions are ordered usually by date, although you can also order them by name, duration or rating. Depending on the settings of Panopto during recording, you will have access to one or two different video streams related to the lesson. Sometimes you will be able to see the lecturer and sometimes you won't but you will be always having access to the notes of the session and to the captions. On the left, you would see uh, different sections. Notes let you to add different contents to your own lesson. These notes are private, but you can always share them and make them public. Similar to notes, bookmarks also help us to divide the content or to access to the uh, parts we want to revisit. In this session, for example, we can see how contents have been already indexed by the system and they are based on the titles of each slide. Discussion allows you to participate in this uh, conversation with your colleagues and with the lecturer. You can access to the content through this uh, section of contents, or in this case, directly through the slides. You see here all the slides related to this lesson. When you log into the Canvas, you can also access to your folder, where you can copy the videos that you are interested in visiting. One of the most important features in Panopto is the accessibility. All uh, videos generate automatically captions. You can also download contents if you want to access to them through your iPad or your Android phone or whatever. Panopto Catalog offers also all the videos that are linked to our institution. If you are looking for a particular lesson, you can always look for it using the searcher. Like for example, storytelling, is bringing all these uh, modules like Art of Storytelling or Multiplatform Storytelling. It links the contents uh, where there is a mention to a storytelling. You can also access to the contents of a particular module by navigating into Browse and then later going to the different modules. You will have access as well to lessons that are belonging to previous years. For the subtitles to be available in your video, they need to be activated by the lecturer. So if you cannot see them here, just contact the lecturer. So if you want to enjoy your favorite session while you are keeping fit in the gym, for example, you can always download the video. Just go here and you can download the podcast. This would be a video file of some quality that you can then play in your own device. If you like a video, be nice and give it a good rating. If you are required to submit any assignment for your modules through Panopto, you need to install first the desktop application. In any case, you need to check carefully with the lecturer and be sure that you are required to submit through Panopto and know more about the technical requirement, quality, subtitles, etc. So as commented, you need to install the Panopto application in order to record your own videos. This can be found in your own uh, Panopto folder. There is also a version available for Mac. Once you have installed the application, you should be able to see here the panel of recording. It allows you to capture different video streams, PowerPoint, main screen, even another screen or another video source. You can use Panopto in two different ways. First, you can record a video with another application and then you upload it directly to Panopto. 
the other system would be digitally recording in Panopto. When you do this, you have to select the different qualities. Uh, be sure that you are catching the sound with the microphone. Uh, be sure where the temporal files are going to be stored. Here, in the parameters of quality, you would observe kilobytes per second. I would recommend always to increase them. Probably something like 2000 would be better if you are worried about the quality of the assignment. Frames per second, it depends. But uh, usually if you are in something about 15, which is the half of the normal speed, you should be fine. You can capture PowerPoint. It needs to synchronize with the presentation. If you don't capture PowerPoint, it will be still show up as a video stream. Still, capturing PowerPoint could be useful. In the Panopto recording application, you can access also to previous recordings. When you have a record here, uh, it needs to be uploaded to the system, so there will be a different process. In relation to the settings, I wouldn't touch anything else because you have customized quality in the recording window. However, it might be important to be sure that you have access to the hard disk, so this is only recommended if you are using your own computer and not universities. Once the recording uh, has been done, it should uh, show up the material in your folder that allows you to share, creating a link that you can share with the lecturer through your canvas. You can also directly invite people to see your video. There is a system for automatic recognition of subtitles. Here in Outputs, you can uh, access to the podcast and download the podcast if you want to use it in another device as a video or as an audio. In your folder, you have access as well to edit the video. Editing the video allows you to check the captions to see if you have to correct them manually. Also, it allows you to create different cuts. You select the segment that you want to cut with the scissors activated. That way, when the user's access to the file, these uh, segments would be ignored. You can also add directly the slideshow, or even to create a quiz. Quiz is something you probably are not going to use, but uh, if you check in some videos, including this one, you will have a quiz. As a curiosity, you can also check uh, the statistics about a particular video. Although you might be disappointed because they are not usually very high. Well, that's all. I hope you like this uh, video, you find this useful. And if you want to talk more about this, if you have questions, just send me an email or uh, arrange an appointment. Take care.